Welcome, in front of me is a Oppo Pod 2 and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and the tricks you can do on this tablet. So, let's get started by opening up our settings and we're going to navigate first to wallpaper and style. And then here we have a couple of things that you can customize for general look of your device, uh, colors, for instance, this allows you to change the colors of the toggles right here. By default, they will be blue. I think that's at least the default. So pretty bland. Now, interesting option in here is that you can set it up to be based on the wallpaper color. So this will check what wallpaper you have right now and adapt it uh, to match your current wallpaper. So right now, it gives me these options right here. So let's actually go back and I change the wallpaper from this to let's do something like this. I can see that the oh no, never mind. There we go. So here we have now a little bit different colors. Now the first one, the custom one, uh, it still looks the same, but obviously this one allows you to customize it, customize the colors yourself. Now you can select one of them and the effects will be taking place right away, as you can see. So from here you can pick one and whenever you then change the wallpaper, these will also change. Now going back, we also have the quick settings and this allows you just to change the shape of them. And we have a couple of choices right here, not very many, but still pretty nice options anyway. I'm going to select something like squares as an example and you can see, see that they automatically change. Now moving on to the next option, it's going to be the home screen and lock screen and in here we have a couple of different things. So starting off we have the home screen mode. This will allow you to choose either from a drawer, so typical Android or the basically all apps smack in the middle of your home screen, the aka Apple like look which for some reason is uh, stupidly called standard mode. Yeah, it might be standard, just not for Androids. So anyway, from here you can choose whichever one you prefer more. I do personally prefer the drawer mode, so that's what I'm going to stick with. And we also have some other toggles at the bottom, so you can check those out. But going back to the home screen and lock screen, we have another thing in here, or couple actually. So we have swipe down on home screen. By default, this opens up a shelf. I don't really care for the shelf. I do prefer the notifications, so that's what I'm going to select. And whenever you will swipe down on your home screen right now, it will automatically pull your notifications instead of opening up the crappy little shelf. Now, we have also the taskbar, which is... How do I bring it up? I don't know how to bring it up. Anyway, uh, maybe I just can't. I'm pretty sure we should be able to, but in any case, uh, in here you can select uh, recent applications. So they are showing right here. So if you don't want those, I just maybe you want to have a stable bar that is not changing, then you can turn that function off in there. Now, anyway, moving on, I'm gonna go to the display and brightness, and I'm gonna start off here with the dark mode and light mode. Now below that we do have a scheduled mode, so it will allow the device to switch between these two modes automatically, either based on a provided um, timer of your choice. So you can select start for a light mode and then the time it ends and switches to dark mode, or you can set it up to be sunset to sunrise and the device will automatically pick the time and we'll be also automatically switching between those. Now, moving on to the next option in here, it's the, where is it? It's not here. So I'm gonna stick with some other one and move over to it, I believe, into the notifications, but that will be later. Now, uh, moving on, we have the uh, natural tone display, basically ripped off from Apple True Tone. Um, it functions very similarly. It just makes the display look a little bit more yellowish. It's a little bit more excessive than it is on 
on iPads as an example or any iPhones. Uh, but still, if you, for instance, tend to read on the device, this is actually a pretty nice option to have. It just makes the display a little bit more pleasant to look at in terms of like long, prolonged periods of usage. So you could check that out. And also sticking with the color mode for your screen, we have the color or what is it? Uh, color screen color mode. And uh, by default, to no surprise, it's set to vivid. Almost, I think every device is set to vivid, or any kind of like different naming that they have. So here, vivid is. Boy, is it uh, is it overdone? Oh, wow. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the natural. Now, the reason I turned off the. Uh, pseudo true tone display is because as you can see when you select natural and does also uh, change the temperature right here so it already makes it more yellowish the display and if you even enable this it makes it I believe even more so okay so it's not as big of a difference as when we're going from vivid to natural tone display uh, but it's still a little bit, a little bit warmer. So anyway, um, did I turn that off? Yes, I did. So we also have the pro mode, we have a real, whatever that is. Uh, but in all honesty, the actual natural looks the closest to actual like reasonable colors. Specifically, uh, on this device, I would say that the uh, reds are just way, way too, too overdone. So on Vivid, it's it's bad. It's really bad. But real, they try to tone it down, but still reds are just me. Natural makes it at least a little bit more reasonable. These colors are just way too vibrant for for what this is supposed to look like. Now below that, we also have the color temperature, so you can uh, select either natural, vivid, or uh, real. And you can also change the warmth or the coldness of the display. So obviously warm means a little bit more yellowish, orangish tint. The default, obviously, it's just what the device is usually, so between, and cold is blue. So there we go. I'm gonna keep it at default. Okay. Now, moving into additional options that we have in here, we have the Ultra Vision Engine. Just a fancy name of uh, for pretty basic options like image sharpening. Now, this will consume a little bit more of your battery because it does use the processor to try to upscale the image or video in this case. Although, even though it says image, it's showing me a video. Uh, mixed messages here, but whatever. As you can see, uh, hopefully, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit closer and you can see the effect of it. So the easiest way to spot it is look at the B and it looks kind of blocky and once it moves to the other side it becomes a little bit more sharp or significantly sharp. Now I don't know if this is going to be the uh, this kind of a visible effect for your videos or whatever you'll be viewing for the upscale but Still, you can enable it and uh, have it work in the background whenever you're checking out content that it supports. It will provide you or try to provide you with a little bit better image quality. And same goes for the video color boost. And now this is just uh, standard definition to HDR. So it just tries to take normal videos and make them more HDR-ish. Uh, or probably you can check it out if you like it or not but uh, something tells me that this will this might be closer to hdr and uh, rather the uh, than actually working as you can see the difference between these two images is not too noticeable if you wouldn't see side by side comparison this is something that you wouldn't see really um if i would show you two different images and just swipe between them there is no way you would see a difference and this also consumes more power but if you want you can obviously change enable it and check it out if you like the effect that it does for video content now moving on to the last options it's going to be the notification and status bar and in here i want to focus on one and only one option which is the status bar and in here we have a couple different options strictly for the status bar 
I like my device to be really clean looking. So as little information as possible. Now OnePlus, oh not OnePlus, uh, Oppo does have the uh, these options that again toggle off in here. So that's actually a really nice feature. And uh, we can basically toggle most of this garbage off because let's be honest, most of this is just kind of useless info anyway. So by hiding it, you just remove clutter from your status bar. And additionally, keeping with the cleanness, you also have the options for like battery style. So you have the several different batteries. I'm gonna select this one, just like the way it looks like. And you also can turn off the battery percentage. Now, battery percentage for the normal battery is actually being shown inside of it. So it still keeps it relatively clean, but for this one, it's outside of it. So I just want to get rid of it. And then lastly, we have the notification icons. By default, every phone or every tablet uh, will have the show icons. So it shows you each individual icon, kind of like this. But you can, for instance, nowadays change it to something like show just a number of notifications you have. So to view those notifications, you pull down your status bar or you can hide the, all the notifications altogether. So they don't show up in your status bar. So I personally prefer the number. So there we go. Now, with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.